Hey yo folks, so just got a quickie tonight because I'm up way past my bedtime. It's well, it's about 1.30 a.m., but that's besides the point. Um, I have a, uh, have a few projects going on right now, and uh, I don't know, I figured I'd just do a video about this one. It's nothing I haven't done before, uh, but it is technically kind of, sort of new. Um, so what I've got... I ordered a couple more Game Boy Advance flash carts from Inside Gadgets. Uh, what I like in particular about his flash carts is that um, Alex designs them so that they use the actual save hardware from the original carts so that you don't have to patch the ROM. You could the uh, the peel is so that you could use it with like ROM hacks on actual hardware. This one supports some EEPROM saving. There's uh, th uh, four different modes, I guess. Oh, two different modes for saves and then two different modes for the ROM. Um, I don't actually have EEPROMs to swap in here. I had a donor cart, uh, Super Mario Land or Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2. I don't know what the heck, what the actual title is, this game. Um, I know it says right in front of me. Sorry, I said I was tired. Um, I was going to use that game as a donor for one of the two EEPROM chips, but uh, I ended up just fixing the game instead. I was going to use it because I thought it was broken, but, I mean, it's been running for... Uh, going on four hours now, zero issues. Uh, it's hard to say, you know, if the problems are completely solved because the problem I was having with it was it was a completely intermittent, it would just crash. Um, but doesn't seem to be doing that now. It was a water damage cart, if you can't tell by the label, specifically soda, I hope. But I'm rambling. The cart I want to do tonight is one of the FRAM carts. Now, I already did the flash cart last time. That's when I was checking out, like, the PAL park and everything. And, um, again, Alex does sell these with the ROM cart already on there, or the save chip already on there, but it's cheaper if you DIY and, well, let me put it this way. I order a lot of junk consoles from Japan and quite often, well... Not lately, but whatever. Um, they usually come with, you know, a few games here and there. This one in particular, I'm never going to play this because all of the text is in Japanese. Um, if I did want to play it, guess what? I already have it anyway. So I could use this to source a FROM chip, but... I'm not going to use this chip because, or use this cart because I don't actually know if this one's worth anything and because I have another donor that I know specifically is worth nothing. Uh, so I have here in this GBA, uh, this has been running, whatever the heck game this is, uh, it's called Crockett 3. And it's literally 99 cents. But looks like that. I don't know if all of these come with FRAM or if some of them have SRAM. But I've already taken this apart, popped the FRAM chip off. Just hot air it off. It's not difficult. I didn't feel like setting up the camera over there, so I did already. And, you know, it still works fine without the... Without the save chip in there, you just can't save. Um, this cart, of course, same deal. Works fine, you just can't save. I've already got a ROM flashed on it, but we'll save that for later. And, uh, well, here's the FROM chip, or FRAM. So this goes on here, like that, and we just need to solder that down. I'm actually going to tin one of these pads beforehand. How do I get that out of the way? The 
lighting will adjust. Okay. One of the reasons why you shouldn't solder it. 140 a.m. So I was going to do this video significantly earlier, but I ran into an issue flashing this cart. I wanted to make sure it was flashed ahead of time. Um, long story short, I just needed to clean the contacts. It works fine. It was just dirty. My problem was that it would start flashing and then it would freeze for a minute and then it would keep going. And then it would freeze and then it would keep going and then eventually it would just lock up entirely. And oops. And I wasn't paying close enough attention so I was literally sitting there for hours waiting for it to flash and it was never flashing. And you'll have to excuse my cat because I just started talking to myself. Now he's up and about. I think everything is soldered nicely. I just need to clean up these solder bridges. I will say this uh, Fram chip is much easier to solder than the uh, last chip in that Pokemon cart. Well, I'm just going to use the wick. keeps going through my parts drawer. He's throwing stuff everywhere. I leave it unattended for eight minutes. And he just goes ham on it. Nice. There we go. All done. Let's get some isopropyl. Where'd I put it? Here it is. See, I told you it was going to be a quickie. Because we are all done. And yes, I know there are some uh, empty pads for other components, but I'm pretty sure we don't need them. I didn't ask Alex ahead of time. But presumably, we just need that. All right. Pop that back in there. And this isn't quite as novel as the uh, flash cart, I think. The one that uses flash save memory. 
only because I don't know of any ROM hacks that this would be good for that can't be played on other hardware. Whereas the other one was good for Pokemon ROM hacks. That could actually be imported to like the Gen 3 or Gen 4 games through like Pal Park. Well, good, my save data is not corrupt. All right, now bear with me. I'm probably just going to fast forward this section because this is this game has such a stupid long intro. <laughs> All right, here we go. Save data, save complete. That's what it said last time, but last time there wasn't a, a frame chip. So let me power cycle this. And look at that, it saves. So there we go. It's one down. Um, that's all I got for tonight. Uh, I'll go ahead and order some more donors, or well, actually, I could probably just order the bare EEPROM chips. I don't imagine that's a custom part. Um, and I guess I'll be back next time for this for this game, and we'll go from there. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. I'm going to go cue this for upload and go to bed. Thanks for watching.